Hello everyone, welcome back to Coding Sky again. In this video, we go to the lesson 2, debugging in Mars. And for the first puzzle, is introduce you about the debugging with Stepperton and what is the debugging, okay? So debugging is the finding and fixing the error in your code, okay? Go to the puzzle 2. So puzzle 2 is this code isn't quite right, okay? So fix the code to help scribe get the icon, okay? So for the first, you have to click the step button to see what is the error, okay? You can click, okay? Another step, okay? Okay, so the instruction area will tell you, okay, what is going on here. Okay, keep coding, something is not quite right yet okay so what you have to do is just drag the move forward one more okay so you can click step or click run it's up to you for me i click run okay. okay so puzzle three use your debugging skill to get scratch to the aircon okay so now let's click the run button okay you can click the step button it's up to you so the problem is with the step two okay step two is wrong here it's turn right so you can drag this down and delete this one move forward for two step after that turn right okay after that you use the move forward two more blocks Okay, run again. <laughs> Keep coding, something not quite right yet. Okay, what's the problem here? You can click reset and then you can click step. But for me, not click step, you just delete the move forward block here. Okay, it's made you move forward only two. Okay, and then turn right and the scribe will reach the icon okay so continue puzzle four okay remove block to get scribe um to the icon okay you can see here when you click step move forward okay you can see click step one more the code is work here so but is not the wrong way not not the right way the strike go to the wrong way so you can reset it and delete the move forward block two and after that you use only one move forward turn left and move forward so this one is okay okay um puzzle five someone has their direction mixed up can you have so you can click step okay first step next oh you can you can see this the, the problem here it is turned to the right so you can reset it and turn it to left step again step okay that's right way step and this one is wrong way again so you can reset it and turn this to right okay you can click run okay puzzle six okay debugging this level by rearranging and changing block okay so you just click step to see Okay, step is okay, and this one is okay. The problem here is move forward for, it means that you use too many move forward block here. If you click step, the this one is, is go to the wrong way, fall to the water, okay, like that. Okay, so what you have to do is rearrange the code, reset it, and this one we use only two. And for the block with the gray 
gray block, you cannot delete it. Okay, so you have to use this. Okay, but the this block you can delete it. So you use to move move forward block, and after that you use the turn right block, and after that you move forward for two more. Okay, and after that it should be turned to the left. Okay, turn left and then move forward for two. Okay, so we do not delete any code here. You just rearrange code. Okay, just click run. Okay. Okay, it's work. Continue to puzzle seven. Okay, figure out what is wrong and get right to the icon. So what's wrong? You just click the step. Okay. Another one is oh, it's turned to the wrong way here. It is turned to the right. So you change it to left. And then move forward. You can click run for the fast debugging. Okay, step is too slow. Okay, it is fall down here. It because you use uh, move forward here. Move forward. And after that, turn right. Move forward for two. Turn right. Move forward. Okay, I think this code is correct. Let's go. Okay, that's word. Continue to puzzle H. Oh, challenge puzzle, challenge puzzle, lesson design. Okay, so I'm ready, not skip. So debugging this label by rearranging, adding, and deleting block. Okay, so you can use the step button here, but for me, I just click the run button. Okay, so what you have to do is delete the move forward for one, move forward, and after that, it should be turned to left, not right. And after that, it move forward for two, that's correct. And after that, turn left, and then move forward for one, and then turn right and move forward. Okay, so we add one more block, it's the move forward block at the bottom. Let's go. Okay, continue. We completed the challenge. Okay, look for the bug in this code and will scratch reach the icon or is there a problem? So you can check the code here. Is move forward for two time. That's correct. Turn right. Okay. Move forward for two. It's still okay. And after that, turn left. No, the problem is here. Not turn left. Should be turn right to the icon. So you can check the answer. The scratch will read the icon. There's no bug. So it not. So the scratch will not read the icon because it turned the wrong way. Okay, maybe this one. So see, we read for all. Scratch will not reach the icon because there are not enough move forward block nuts. The scratch will not move from the first block. So the answer is B. Scratch will not reach the icon because it turned the wrong way. Okay, so you just click run. Okay, you see? So we completed, continue it. Okay, puzzle 10. Use the block in the toolbox to build your program. Get a scribe to the icon. So this is quite easy, right? You just use the move forward for three times. And then turn right and just move forward for one. So it's okay, run. Okay, continue. Okay, we have another challenge, yes, in this puzzle. Okay, bonus level. You can go and complete it. 
Okay, now you can see there's many code and the toolbox you have to use to complete this puzzle. You can go to turn. You have two ways to go. It's turn right or turn left. It's up to you, okay? So for me, I use the move forward block first, and after that, I go to the right way, turn right, and after that, move forward for two steps, and after that, turn right again. And after that, I use the move forward one, two, three, and four. So I use the repeat block for four times, okay? And after that, turn right again, and move forward for two more, and turn right one more time, and after that, move forward. Okay, that is correct. So let's click and run. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> Completed the bonus level. Oh, okay. We have another one is this one. Okay, it's got turned too often. He might get dizzy, okay? Help him reach the icon with only four turn command. Okay, you have to use only four turn command. If you go to this way, you can go move forward, turn right, turn left, turn right, turn left, turn right, turn left. Okay, that is dizzy. So what you have to do is go to another way. So for me, now let's go to this way. By for the first one, you have to turn the scribe to the right. Okay, you can see. You just click step. Okay, okay, this way. <laughs> go up there. Okay, go to this way. Okay, so turn left, and after that, move forward for four turn. So you just move forward. Okay, it's right here. He have to turn to left and move forward, turn to right, move forward, and turn to left, move forward for one, two, three, and four again. So you can count the turn. You just turn right and left, turn right, turn left. So you use only four turn command, okay? So it's only four, sorry. Run. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Finish it. Okay. So that's all for the lesson to debugging in Mars. So see you again in the next lesson, lesson three. Okay. So see you again.